Hello, and Hi, today man. we're going to be playing as Hanzo, the archer. Oh, cool. Hanzo sounds pretty good already. So, Hanzo it uses a bow, so you have to hold and charge the the arrow before you fire it off, otherwise it just kind of droops out of the end of the bow. <laughs> just dribbles out the end There's of the bow. There's nothing worse yeah. than a droopy arrow. Um, oh, especially out the end of your bow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're getting older and these things happen. Tired. Just, uh... He's then got some special heads for his arrows, so he's got a scattershot head, which if you mm -hmm. charge up and fire, it bounces off of the wall that you hit first. So yeah. in close combat, you want to shoot these at the floor, because then they'll scatter upwards into the opponent. Um, otherwise, they're really good in hallways and rooms and things like that. Yeah, sort um, of like a splash damage effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. His other ability is a kind of uh, sonar... Yeah, kind of a sonar uh, arrow. So it will highlight enemies in red that are near okay. to the arrow where you've landed it. So obviously you place the arrow down and then um, you and your uh, allies can see any enemies that walk past that arrow for a limited time. Oh, that's good that the allies can see it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we'll do is I'll charge up his ultimate and then we'll get to have a quick look at his ultimate as well. But that's yeah, just a very powerful arrow attack, basically. Okay, yeah. So no droopy arrow for the ultimate then? No, must must be fired appropriately. <laughs> that, I think that is uh, that comes with the paperwork for ultimates, I think. Mm. Ultimate must be fired appropriately or not used at all. Ooh, yeah, so, so what sort of character is Hanzo then? Is he, Hanzo's he's obviously probably not a tank, sniper, is he? maybe a bit too up close really. For, ooh, I just got blown up by junk crap. Wee, there goes my corpse. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you're I, playing I, him a bit too up close and personal. Yeah, right? yeah, and uh, say I, I got punished for it quite badly. So he's only got 200 health and it's not shield either, so it doesn't recharge. Mm -hmm. So any damage I take, I've got to find a health pack or get a healer on me or, you know, I just have to kind of dodge anything else that's coming towards me. Yeah, yeah. It's, his movement's not too bad. He does have a, a wall run. So if mm. you jump up against a wall, he'll climb up it, which is useful nice. for getting into kind of better sniper positions and things like that. Yeah. It's oh, The team must be pushing. Ooh, there's a McCree. So really, I should be staying back with Mercy over here. And, yeah, just uh, picking off people. Yeah, yeah, just kind of finding my moment to uh, lay a few arrows down. I'm going to just put the sonar arrow down there and just see who we get running by. Hope now it's Hanzo's time to shine. <laughs> ooh, ooh, there's a tracer. She's going to get me, I reckon. Oh, oh the tracer's the tracer is sort of the... Uh, it's, uh, again, uh, like with Widowmaker, close range, he's not great. So mm. you've got the scattershot arrow, which will keep you protected, or at least do enough damage to scare them from pushing too close to you. Mm. But really, after that, aiming sort of up close with somebody is going to be difficult. Oh, so I've now got yeah. the uh, ultimate charged up, so let's give this a go, this right. might be fun. So we just saw his ultimate there from the opponent's right. so we're going to fire the arrow forwards towards their base and just see who we hit. It's going to be nobody. Oh no, we got someone. <laughs> oh, good. Good stuff. So two dragons, dragons fire everywhere. out. Yeah, the two dragons fire out, and it's to do with his family's clan. So mm. the two dragons, I think, are meant to represent him and his brother, which is uh, Genji, the ninja. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, so those two are brothers, and uh, Hanzo's a head of, a, like, a mob family. And mm. Genji is his brother, obviously, and yeah. it, he wasn't left in charge of the family because he's considered kind of reckless and things like that. Anyway, Hanzo oh, then okay. attacks Genji and thinks he kills him. Yeah. Um, and Genji gets saved by Mercy and turned into the robot man. But Hanzo oh, doesn't actually know about this, so yeah. there's a, there's oh, a video released by Blizzard of um, him kind of discovering that his brother's still alive and he's now a robot man. It's just a terrible YouTube reaction video, like when you see people <laughs> unboxing games and stuff. Oh my god, he's alive! Whoa. Oh my god, brother alive! Hashtag, oh my god. <laughs> man, you've been punked! <laughs> That must have been a weird minute for him then. <laughs> Wait, I know that guy from somewhere. <laughs> What's with all the attachments? My brother didn't have attachments. <laughs> My brother wasn't a robot man. <laughs> <laughs> Just really struggling uh, with it. But, but I simply he can't wasn't be a him. robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But my old clan master told me people don't change. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I think I was the only one on my team left alive there, and I was a bit too far forwards, and Roadhog came to say hi to me. A little bit too far forward. Yeah. That's, that's the thing, you kind of... It's keeping good track of your team, where they are, and making sure that you're behind that front line. Yeah. Actually playing off against off uh, each other. Yeah, it's because he's like a high accuracy character. He's quite hard to play and, and comment at the same time as well. Yeah, of course. So you're, you're you're desperately trying to like aim quite carefully at people's heads. Ooh, McCree got me with a stun. Nice. See so your ultimate's built up. Yeah. Again. So again, yeah, he's his ultimate's very quick charge. It's a bit like Junkrat, I suppose. Hmm. So you want to be firing that down as much as possible because it does so much damage and because of its range because the dragon kind of keeps going it's yeah. uh it's really useful to just keep that thing flying down the uh flying down the lane and just trying to pull off as much damage as possible to see oh no i've got to really move out of the way to get out of the way of their one Whee! oh uh, yeah i see it's just bouncing dragons back and forwards between each other oh yeah see again i'm so too far forward so i'm a, a bit uh, Tracer's uh, mercy here. It's a very lingering Sorry, sort yeah. of uh, ultimate attack, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's like it really of, holds the space. That's what's really good. So if you get it down the lane, then obviously mm. people are staying there because you know they've got to head down that way to get to the objective. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's it's really useful from that perspective to just keep those dragons just going down there. Find the longest, straightest path in the in Yeah, the yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's where I, I just fired it earlier, and that was it actually did quite well. It got a couple of people, because this is the only mm. route through. Oh, aiming at a tracer is a nightmare, because she just keeps teleporting around. She's really quick. Yeah, I don't know why I'm choosing her as my target, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe just a glutton for punishment. There's, there's an enemy Hanzo that would be a much better target for me. Oh, you know him so well. Oh. Okay, let's fire off another ultimate. Whee, that's the third one per round. Mm. Let's see if we get anything. Uh, no, dodged it this time. Oh no, I think I got Roadhog a little bit. I suppose since because the your ultimate spawns so quick as well, it's better to use it than not. Well, So this... rather, like, you get yeah. enough of them so that it's not wait, really wasted. Ooh, there's one coming. <laughs> it's just us two bouncing dragons back and forwards down the lane. That reminds me of that little weird fight in the Scott Pilgrim film. Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim ah, film. Ah, Scott Penguin, yes. Yes. <laughs> the <laughs> Scott Arctic version. Scott Penguin. <laughs> or the chocolate version, depending on how uh, old you are. Chocolate Pilgrim. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate <laughs> Pilgrim. <laughs> Melts in long, hot journeys. <laughs> yeah, terrible Pilgrim. And always turns up with a really naff joke. Uh, oh, I forgot about the jokes. <gasps> ah, I didn't tell you, did I? I was at work a few days ago, and um, That's rare. I work on building sites in the chub. I work, <laughs> <laughs> work on building sites with other people that do better stuff than I do. And uh, the electricians, for some reason, there was four of them, all had penguin bars, and they were all reading <laughs> each other the jokes because uh, that was, that was they're having a lovely day. And I was just painting some skirting, and one of the blokes goes, "Oh, uh, what's a what's a penguin's favourite film?" So I went, "Shawshank Redemption." <laughs> right of course and he looked at me a penguin and he went no it says frozen on here <laughs> <laughs> damn it wrong again so i looked at him and i went oh i was well off then <laughs> 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 and then about 10 minutes later a different electrician who was in the room at the time went i'll tell you what you often see the shawshank redemption in top 10 lists don't you <laughs> <laughs> god's sake <laughs> I meant it as a joke to a penguin bar, <laughs> not as a serious topic of conversation. <laughs> this is something that needs to be discussed. Instead of saying that, I just went, yeah, but I have recently noticed that Frozen's up there as well. <laughs> just let it go, man. Oh, that was lost on you. I feel so bad now. What's that? <laughs> just let it go. Let oh, it I didn't go. hear you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That one fell completely flat. Oh, beautiful. All I, all I heard was go, and I was like, why, why Just are you go, just leave, go? yeah. I'm done with this. <laughs> well, you got the right hump. It's like, no, just get out. Just stop talking. We're done. We're done. We are done. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of a proper geezer eating out penguin jokes, though. It's just... Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> what, what is a penguin's favourite film? I don't know. Uh, Shawshank Redemption? Yeah. Uh, it says Frozen here. <laughs> Does it? Oh, I was well off then, sorry. <laughs> oh, yes, to finish with a kill in the back. Well that was pretty good. I killed someone with a sonar arrow. I can't believe you can do that. 
<laughs> I didn't think that'd do any damage whatsoever. Sonar arrow is just beeping like crazy. <laughs> There's a person underneath it. <laughs> Sharpshooter. Mm, Player of the shovel. game. Oh, that was the, the enemy Hanzo. Uh, <laughs> well, one. at least one Hanzo got it for our final shots of this video. One, oh, two, nice. That was a good shot on Tracer. And then ultimate. Nice. Oh. So, that was Hanzo and his abilities. And we shall catch you in the next episode. Cheers, man. See you in a bit. Bye.